Hello and welcome. Today I want to tell you about how you easily can find out if your Windows computer is a virtual computer or just a regular computer. So here this one is doing updates and it's installing them and one one way to check is to go to task manager or right click right click on the taskbar select task manager and here you will see all these activities and everything so you want to go to performance see here what options you have and the most important you go to cpu here you will see the processor that you have this is ryzen 7 3700x 8 core processor and i have here 8 gigabyte of memory 8.7 and uh, the way to find out if this is a virtual computer, it's really easy. First, you look at the virtual processors here and it shows four, but uh, one thing that confirms to you that this is a virtual computer, a virtual Windows machine, it says here, virtual machine, yes. So this is a processor that is virtual. I have four processors here, four cores, but it's actually an eight core processor. So that's a bit of a something unusual. So if it doesn't say here that it's yes, anything that is different from the version of the processor with the speed and the number of cores that you see. So I this means I gave this virtual machine, which it is a virtual machine. I gave it eight gigabytes of RAM, gigabytes of RAM and uh, four processors out of four cores out of the eight core processor which is nice the host computer has 32 gigabyte of ram so that's pretty nice it can it can have eight so it can um, run a few tasks more easily like the windows update okay so another thing you should always do your updates on time so it's good to it's good to have them updated as soon as you can. Yeah, uh, I just want to show you one more thing. So this is the task manager in the virtual computer, and this is the task manager in the actual computer in the host computer. So I just want to do it so it's easier to see both. Yeah, so you see the host processor is running at, I'll just put both processors here, it's running at 4.1 gigahertz, but the virtual one is at 3.5, 3.6. And the host, the host processor has eight cores and 16 threads and virtualization is enabled. If you cannot run a virtual machine on your computer, you have to go in the BIOS and uh, enable the virtualization for your processor. It's pretty easy. It's just one setting to enable the virtualization. After that, it's uh, just simple here. You see the difference in the sockets and cores. So the virtual processor is uh, acting the same as uh, the physical one, but with less cores. Yeah, this is pretty good. And the host memory is 32, 30, 32 gigabyte, and it's barely used. Half of it is used, while this virtual machine takes eight. So this is great. The setting it depends on your motherboard, but uh, I'll write in the description how you enable the setting and what's the name of the setting you need to enable. Uh, let me know if you want to see a video with that. Subscribe, like, and share. And I will see you next time. Bye.